Hey everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'm checking out a whole pedal board full of effects from Eastwood Guitars. It's their new Black Box series, and as you just heard, they stack nicely together and they can really hold their own individually, so let's check them out. Eastwood's Black Box series is comprised of six straightforward yet high quality pedals that cover all the bases from dirt to modulation to time based effects. Starting things off is the BB1 Manalishi Drive which hints at being a green overdrive, but is actually designed to be a hybrid of a classic TS circuit and an amp in a box. So much so that it can act as your amp's virtual second channel. The BB-02 Clip Compressor is an analog design with roots and a late 70s compressor pedal, but it's these extra two controls that set it apart, letting you adjust the squish and pick attack, as well as the input gain or clip which also rolls off the low end to clarify the compression tone to help it match with a wide range of pickups and instruments. The BB-03 Blue Vibe is an analog circuit aimed at those swirling 60s tones heard from Hendrix and Gilmore. The color helps fine tune the pulse and symmetry by adjusting the phase relationship between wet and dry signals. You can also cut the dry signal to achieve old school vibrato. Two delays with different tones and features are offered in the Black Box series. The BB-04 Copy Delay has a simple control set and a maximum of 450 milliseconds. Its voicing really nails the high-pass repeats heard in 60s tape echo units. The BB-05 Mag Delay has an extended frequency range and delay time up to 600 milliseconds. Plus, it adds modulation to the repeats, letting you simulate subtle wow and flutter or vibrato effects within the delay. Both of these delays are capable of self-oscillation when repeats are high and they feature true bypass switching like all the other BB effects. Finally, the BB-6 Dusty Spring is a no-nonsense spring reverb emulation that provides a natural space in minimum settings and drench sounds when the mix is increased. The dwell extends the decay time and drippiness of the effect and can be used to fill the gaps whether you like a heavy or subtle reverb mix. These pedals sport a friendly price range, not to mention a lifetime guarantee to back up their heavy-duty designs. For more info on this lineup, check out eastwoodguitars.com. So let's begin with the Manalishi Drive, which is going to be a nice foundation tone I'm going to be stacking with a lot of these pedals. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you a low gain setting, more of a clean boost sound, and then we'll crank up the gain and see how thick this overdrive can get. start to get thick you could just notice a big jump in gain once you get past 12 o'clock <laughs> So how's that for a segue into the blue vibe? So I'm just going to back off on the gain on the Manalishi just to get a nice foundation drive, almost like, you know, your classic Marshall without any pedals in front of it. And then we'll go through the different settings on the blue vibe and all the way back on that color is more like a phaser. And then as you, you turn it up, you sort of hear, you know, sort of get asymmetrical, more of that heartbeat. <laughs> ¶¶ 
So in these lower depth settings, you hear less pitch modulation. So speaking of that, let's switch over to the vibe mode, which takes away the dry signal. So you basically have a old school analog vibrato effect. <laughs> Let's jump back to the beginning of this black box series pedal board and change the attack and sustain of the notes I'm playing. Of course, I'm talking about the clip compressor. I'm going to start with a classic Dynacomp setting by rolling back the clip and the attack, and we'll just have a sustain and output to play with. So plenty of output there and it really just you know brings the guitar to life whether it's single coils or humbuckers and uh, the next control which I want to show you is very helpful on uh, those pickups as well because it actually rolls off a little bit of low end and also backs off on the input gain if you're getting a little bit too much distortion and I'm talking about the clip knob here so let's roll that up and see how it affects this next single coil. And the other control here is attack. With it all the way back, it's that classic uh, Dynacomp compression. Uh, so it's kind of a little bit slower. So uh, you, you can hear your natural dynamics come through. But if you increase this, it's really going to accentuate uh, you know, the softest picking. It's just going to kind of you know, further compress everything. And of course, it's all interactive with the sustain and that uh, clip control as well.
back. just couldn't take those dry tones anymore so I engaged the dusty spring so let's focus on this one a bit it's obviously aimed at a spring reverb and you just have two basic controls a mix which uh, you know is a little goes a long way with this one and the dwell which is the length of the tails and let's just start very conservative and back off on the dwell and keep the mix about 25% <laughs> helps fill in the gaps especially if you're playing kind of a, a spaced out lead so let's increase the gain a little bit on that Manalishi drive and then really push the dwell and the mix on the dusty spring <laughs> Last but not least, we have two delays here, and they are voiced differently, uh, not just because one has modulation, but you could tell by the repeats, there's a little bit different flavors in the voicing. So let's start back to back with them with the same delay setting, and I'll turn the modulation off on the mag. <laughs> Now with the mag delay, which kind of has a little bit more of a lo-fi repeat, uh, let's check out the modulation. You could go fast or slow in the tails of the delay. So, you know, say uh, something like a fast slapback, you could put a little bit of vibrato in the background. <laughs>
So that's all the effects in a nutshell. Let's try some different combinations and see what happens. <laughs> Well, there's your look at the Black Box series from Eastwood. And you can find out everything about these robust pedals at eastwoodguitars.com. Thanks for watching. It's been a lot of fun showing you this pedal board. And be sure to check out the next Andy demo.